Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this version of retrieving user profile information from the user properties in SharePoint. In my last two videos, I've shown you how to do that using vanilla JavaScript, and I've also showed you how to do it using Vue. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that using React. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, here is the HTML. Make sure that you have all the appropriate libraries when you're doing creating your React application. We have the React um, development uh, library, and also you need React DOM. You need these, um, and then you also need Babel as well. These help to transpile our, our JSX into JavaScript into something that can, that's understandable. And then we have uh, I'm using Axios. Um, to go and retrieve information from the user profile properties. Um, and then of, of course, ES6. Now, one thing that I want you to make sure that you don't make a mistake on, I made this mistake and it took me a while to figure it out. In When you reference your JavaScript file, because in this React user profile JS, this is where all my React is gonna be. Make sure it's type equal to text forward slash Babel. If not, you're gonna have some problems. It's not gonna recognize the um, um, the JSX that you write. My JavaScript file is blank, so let's go ahead and get started. And um, I like to, whenever I start, even in Vue, I always like to do a hello world just to make sure all my files are working the way they should, all my libraries are, are, are working the way they should. So let's start out with React DOM. And if you remember, this React DOM.render, it needs two arguments. The first argument is what is going to be rendered to the page. So that component app is going to be rendered to the page. And the second argument is where is it going to be rendered to the page? So document dot get element by ID root. One thing I did feel to mention is just like in view, you always have to have a div because this is where Everything you, all the everything you create is going to be rendered here. So this div, I call it ID equal to root. You can call it ID equal to app or whatever you want to call it, um, as long as you have give it a name. So that second argument to that React DOM dot render, I want that I want everything that gets rendered that first argument to be rendered here. So now let's go and create our app component. And the beautiful thing about React is it really is JavaScript with a, just a little a twist um, because you create your components with a function. So let's go function app. Um, and don't forget we have to return. And then within that return, you have to have, let's see, some type of element. So let's say hello world. I'm missing a C here function. Okay, awesome. Let me save. Let's go refresh the page just to make sure that works and comes out correctly. Refresh. Hopefully cross fingers. Boom. There, there it is. It works. Okay, so now let's go back. So we're not going to be using this function. We're going to be using a class. And um, the reason you want to use a class. If you don't want to maintain state, you can use this function. Uh, you can use a function, but we're going to use a class because we want to maintain state. You remember in view, we have that data property, that data property maintains state. So to do that in react, we need to use class. So we're going to say class app extends react dot component. Okay. And then we're going to create a constructor props, even though we're really not going to be passing any props in here. And then this dot, um, oops, I'm missing something. Super props. This dot states equal. So what we need is first name
last name preferred name okay the reason this is yelling at me is because I need to do this Okay, all that goes inside of the constructor um, but also we shouldn't forget we want this class this component that this class component to render something for us so render and what we wanted to render um, this return as well We wanted to render our properties. So we're gonna say H1. Oops. H1. And then we're gonna say first name. Let me repeat that three times. And then here, this is gonna be last name. And then this is going to be preferred name. Okay. So this render is what we want to be displayed on our um, page. So we have this app, which is this class app, and this is what this app is going to be. Re this this um I'm sorry, not app. This component, this component app will be returning is is this, you know, and we have created a state that will store the information when that comes in. So first name, last name, and prefer. So when we, when we retrieve that from the properties. We need to have that state. So if you remember in view, there's a lifecycle hook called created. Well, in um, React, it's called differently. It's called component did mount. Okay, so component did mount, right? So once once this once it's um, once it is mounted, once it's, it's it's completed, it's going to fire off what's in here. Now, I don't want to rewrite everything, so I'm going to go to my view class, and I'm just going to copy this here, and then we're going to tweak it. So let's come here. Let's just oops, oh, wrong one. We want this here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and then we're going to tweak it in react. Okay. All right. So here are some things that we need to change. Um, so first it's not going to be this, you know, this works perfectly in view because we have that data property in react. It's different because um, you, we can't just come in here. We can't say this, that first name. Um, even if you said this, that state, this is how you reference it. This is still not going to work. You know, what we need to do is we need to use, um, what they call, we need to use set state. Um, uh, because being that this is a, um, asynchronous, um, it, it, it's not going to, you know, when, when it, when, when it makes this call, it's it's not going to know that it made the call. So we have to set state, if that makes sense. You can read about it on the React page. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. We're going to, let's remove this here. The if statement stays the same. The only thing we need to add to set the state, this, this, dot set, state and then all we got to do is just grab this here and paste it in here um, it needs to be this because we're setting we are setting the state of this I need the semicolon all right so now we need to do the same thing with the rest of them so let me just grab this set state 
copy and then this will become last name Let me get this out of there and then we're gonna do the same thing here preferred name okay let me just make sure I have the right match I didn't okay let me close this down so we have Axios um, this is our endpoint to grab the properties of the users of the current user we want first name, last name, and preferred name. And as we're looping through the property, um, if what we're looking for matches this key, then we're gonna set the state. And the state that we're setting is what's in this state, you know? So now let's come down, you know, let, let's come down here. Now, how do we get that to show here? And the way, all we need to do is we need, just need to retrieve it from the set state. So we're gonna say this dot state dot first name. Let me do come out here and do that. And let's say last name. And then this one will be preferred name. Let me put a little space in here. Now let's go refresh the page and see how this works. Save, go refresh the page, refresh the page. Oh, something's missing. So let me, um, let me do this to see what the problem is. That has something to do with something that's not really uh so let's look at the re or, or, or. so this is saying uncaught syntax error oh yes okay that, that's my bad um yeah yeah i see what i did wrong so yeah it's 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 not an equal i'm gonna change this to a colon And the reason you change it to a colon is because we're dealing with the, an object here, right? Um, so you have to, the way you change that is you have to do, you still have to use the colon um, and not an equal sign. So save, refresh. And there you have it. First name, Isaac, last name, Sagunner, preferred name, Isaac Sagunner, you know. Um, so that's how you retrieve it. And as I mentioned, you know, there are lots of different properties that you can retrieve in your organization, you know, the office floor, whatever properties that they capture is what you can retrieve. Um, so I hope that made sense. Please leave your comments below if anything's confusing. Oh, one more thing that I wanted to show you. Sorry. Um, so in the new react, the new version of react, this is too verbose. You don't have to do it any of this anymore. All you, you can, all you can do, what you can do now, I can, let me take this out. You can take that out. You can take this out. And you can even take this out. So now you can just say state equal to first name, last name, prefer. You don't have to use the uh, constructor anymore. So if I save, let me go make sure this works. Come here, refresh, hard refresh, and it still works. So. Um, this takes out of a, a few lines of code, which is good. So I hope that made sense and, um, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.